Uh, this month, the federal government is celebrating the one-year anniversary of Executive Order 13514, which is the Federal Leadership in Environmental, Economic, and Energy Performance. So when I talk with you about some of the milestones that we've hit, um, some of the products that have been produced under the executive order, it's really that interagency collaboration of these working groups and the leadership of the steering committee that's helped us get there. And so the guidance document itself and the technical support document uh, that goes along with it actually spell out in a great deal of detail and a great deal of granularity of the specifics of how the federal agencies will have to go about measuring and reporting um, their greenhouse gas pollution. Uh, we have what will be the very first OMB, that's Office of Management and Budget, scorecards. Now that will be out the first of the year and they'll actually grade the agencies on how well we're doing. GSA, as many of you in the room know and probably think of, is one of the largest full-service real estate organizations in the country. But one of the great things about the executive order was that it was not a one-size-fits-all and it offered each agency the opportunity to really look at the mission of the agency and how the agency could best determine what it could do to uh, reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. Sustainability is about security. It's about national security. It's about economic security. It's about job security, energy security, climate security, and security for future generations. You're probably very familiar with is uh, St. Elizabeth's West Campus here in uh, the D.C. area. Uh, it's the largest federal construction project in D.C. since the Pentagon with over 6 million square feet. 80% of which will be covered by green roofing. This is our current home. We are going to be um, renovating it, uh, but we intend to lead by example. Notice this is the east side street, yeah, east street side, excuse me, of uh, the building. And we're going to be adding those two atrium. And on the front, we're going to be adding retail space, which many of you have heard about, which should open up uh, East Street and onto the park where DOI then joins and OPM joins. So it will really open up more of a campus area. <laughs> So how is the sustainability policy that uh, we're seeing set such wonderful targets uh, going to kind of intersect with procurement policy and sort of fiscal discipline? We believe that as we get a little bit more into this, that a lot of what we're talking about in sustainability and sustainability practices will be driven more into the private sector. You're talking a lot about how it's not a static document, and of course there's going to be a lot more uh, going forward in terms of collecting information. And I was just wondering what that will do for comparability of data over time. As we understand what's in that indirect emissions bucket better, um, you know, there may be you know, additional types of indirect emissions that we're able to count. Mm -hmm.